The Lion of Flanders by Hendrik Conchin stands as a seminal work in Flemish literature, celebrated for its portrayal of Belgian history, particularly the Battle of the Golden Spurs. Conscience, often considered the father of Flemish literature, penned this historical novel in 1838, encapsulating the spirit of nationalism and the quest for identity prevalent during the 19th century. Through vivid prose and compelling characters, Conscience intertwines historical events with fictional elements, crafting a narrative that resonates with readers long after its publication. At its core, The Lion of Flanders is a tale of resistance and valor. Set against the backdrop of the medieval struggle for independence, the novel depicts the relentless pursuit of freedom by the Flemish people against French oppression. The protagonist, Robrecht van Bethune, embodies the spirit of Flemish resilience as he leads his compatriots in a daring rebellion against their overlords. Through Robrecht's journey, Conscience explores themes of courage, sacrifice, and patriotism, painting a stirring portrait of heroism in the face of adversity. Central to the narrative is the Battle of the Golden Spurs, a pivotal moment in Flemish history. Conscience masterfully recreates the chaos and intensity of this historic clash, immersing readers in the fury of combat. By intertwining historical facts with fictional elements, he brings the battlefield to life, capturing the desperation and determination of the Flemish fighters as they clash with their French adversaries. Through vivid descriptions and dramatic imagery, Conscience highlights the significance of this seminal event, portraying it as a defining moment in the struggle for Flemish identity. Beyond its historical backdrop, the Lion of Flanders also delves into deeper themes of identity and nationhood. Conscience underscores the importance of cultural heritage and collective memory in shaping a people's sense of self. Through his characters' reflections and interactions, he explores the complexities of belonging and allegiance, emphasizing the bonds that unite the Flemish people in their quest for autonomy. By celebrating their shared history and traditions, Conscience champions the idea of Flemish identity as a source of strength and resilience in the face of external threats. Moreover, the novel offers a nuanced portrayal of power and politics in medieval Europe. Through the machinations of various characters, Conscience depicts the intricate webs of alliances and rivalries that shaped the fate of nations. From the cunning maneuvers of King Philip IV of France to the internal strife within the Flemish leadership, he illustrates the complexities of governance and diplomacy during this tumultuous period. Through these political intrigues, Conscience adds depth and complexity to his narrative, showcasing the myriad forces at play in the struggle for supremacy. In terms of style, Conscience's prose is both evocative and eloquent, capturing the grandeur and drama of the medieval era. His vivid descriptions and rich imagery transport readers to a bygone age, immersing them in the sights, sounds, and sensations of medieval Flanders. Through his meticulous attention to detail, Conscience creates a vivid tapestry of historical authenticity, inviting readers to experience the past in all its glory and turmoil. In conclusion, the Lion of Flanders stands as a timeless masterpiece of Flemish literature, celebrated for its vivid portrayal of history and its enduring themes of resistance, identity, and nationhood. Through his compelling narrative and rich characterizations, Conscience brings to life the epic struggle of the Flemish people against oppression, inspiring generations with tales of valor and sacrifice. As a seminal work in Belgian literature, the Lion of Flanders continues to captivate readers with its timeless tale of heroism and defiance.